Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God says stand on what you believe in. Don't let temptations weight you down. I want you to know that we got to stop allowing temptations to put us down. We got to be stronger than that then temptations whatever temptations is trying to do to us we got to learn how to rebuke it and cast it out and say god let nothing happen to me you know you want to make sure that god is in your mind god is in your thoughts make sure you're doing everything in the will of god because satan is busy satan is tempting us to have sex satan is tempting you to do whatever you want to do out of wedlock you know doing things out of god's protection in James 13 and 13, it reads, when temp, no one should say God is tempting me, for God cannot be tempt, but evil, nor does he tempt anyone. God doesn't tempt anyone. The devil does. And that's why you got to plead the blood of Jesus over yourself. Because I'm telling you, the devil will have you doing stuff that you shouldn't even be doing. The devil wants you to go back into sin. But you got to tell God. You got to tell God, look, God, help me to control my flesh. Help me to control my thoughts. Because I'm telling you, the devil is busy in this season. The devil is here to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil wants you to slip up. The devil wants you to fall in temptations. But I'm telling you, before you do anything, make sure you get married. Before you try to lay in the bed with anybody, make sure you get married and tied a knot. They can't get married to you, leave them alone. It's not hard to get married. People don't want to get married no more. People don't want to get married no more because they don't want to be official. People don't want to get married no more because they don't want your last name. People don't want to get married anymore because they don't want to do what they're supposed to do. Oh, marriage comes with a lot of responsibility. And people don't want to get married anymore. They just want to shack up and have babies and do whatever they want to do. Get married and allow God to make you be official with your husband, your wife. Get married to the person. Stop just having sex with them and make it official. If you love them, get married. You got money, cause look, if you if, if you can lay down and have sex with them, you can get up and, and take care of your responsibility. Go to the courthouse and get buried. You go to the courthouse once a woman turned eighteen years old and once a man turned twenty one. You can get buried. I don't know what you're waiting on. If you already practicing having sex, you should already be married. It doesn't make no sense for a woman to be having sex with a man for free. And I'm just being honest with you. If you having sex with him for free, listen, I don't care what he tells you. Listen to me carefully. A man can tell you all day you his woman, you you my woman, and she tell you all day you her man. Let me tell you this. On papers, it's nothing. You could be sleeping in the same bed with this man all day long. And some of y'all, you in a relationship with somebody, you got trust issues. Some of y'all got some trust issues. I got to search your phone. I want to know who in your phone. I want to know who texting your phone. You don't even trust them. And then you want them FBI girlfriends. You want to know who he sleeping with. You want to know who he talking to. You that type of woman, you want to check that phone every five, six, seven minutes. So I'm telling you. You got to do whatever you need to do. Get married to the person. I'm serious. Get married to the person and ask God to make a way for you. Because I'm telling you, some of y'all are sorry. You in these relationships, you, you probably don't need to be in a relationship with nobody. Because you're not ready. You're not ready to be in a relationship with nobody. I'm telling you, you really not. You're not ready to be in a relationship with nobody. Because at the end of the day... You still got issues with yourself. You still got issues within yourself. And you need to ask God to help you to clean out your minds and, and your thoughts. Because I'm telling you, some of y'all, you need to get your life together. You ain't ready for no really relationship because you still got some issues within you. You got trust issues. You got trust issues with your partner. Every five, six minutes, seven minutes, you got to keep checking their phone and all of this stuff. That's crazy. So I don't have time for that stuff. So if you got trust issues and all that stuff, you need to get that stuff to God and ask God to help you to communicate with your husband. You need to get a husband and, and, all of, and some of y'all cheating and some of y'all married. Some of y'all cheating on your wife. Some of y'all cheating on your husband. Because you think the grass is green on the other side. That's what you get. You thought it was green on the other side. Guess what? You done had sex with another man and you a man. You thought that was a woman. See, that's what you get. Because God don't like ugly. When you try to be slick behind your wife's back, guess what? You done had sex with another man and you thought that was a woman. Guess what? Yeah. Deal with it. Temptation's real. 
Temptation is real, baby. You better get, you better get used to that stuff. Cause I'm gonna tell you, temptation is real. It's every day, every day. You gonna be tempted, but you need to learn how to control your flesh and say, Lord, control my flesh, Con control my thoughts, control me, and God will help you. So don't give up on God. Do whatever you need to do to strengthen your faith, to strengthen your belief, and just do whatever you need to do. God bless you all. Be encouraged. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Wait on God and stop having sex. Just wait on God to bless you with a husband and a wife. You know, just take your time. Ask God for a husband. Ask God for a wife. Ask God to bless you with a powerful future. Wait on God. Don't do nothing that you know you're not ready for. Just take your time. Get to know God. Spend time with him. And just allow God to bring your wife. Allow God to bring the person that you're supposed to be with. Because when you start doing things out his will, God will put his hands on for you. So thank you for watching. Be encouraged. Don't give up a prayer about all things. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Thank you again.